Hello there everyone, welcome to another episode of this Orcs of Gundabad campaign. So in our last episode we began the siege of Karaselernen. That's nice. Now the high elves are here and one thing, by the way, the game was lagging so I ended, um, I had to restart after being recording like for two minutes. And I had already replaced the units and I was going for the, the siege but it was lagging completely. Uh, on it. But I already know one thing, the High Elves army will reinforce the Eridor's army because they are allied. And I certainly don't want to cause the war against the High Elves now. I'm gonna wait until they actually get out of there. <laughs> Basically, that's the, that's the deal. But also, I'm gonna join up these two armies and um, hang on a little bit. Let's lift the siege. Pull a little bit back. Yeah, because I certainly want my king, Chieftain Gordov, to go over there. So let's merge my units. I already know what I'm going to take away. And I'll explain why. This guy's going to get away. This guy's going to get away. I need the other ballista. I need the other two archers. That's it. I want to take away the Rudor Axeman, the Hillman here. The Warg Riders. I don't need those guys. I need the Snaga Stalkers. The Goblin Bands. I, I think... Uh, where Where is that from? That's it. So what I'll actually do I need here? The Goblin Bands. This Snaga Stalker that's full in this guy. So that's mostly Snaga Stalkers right there. But the Mountain Trolls do a lot of damage. And the Ballistas will cause a lot of damage. I gotta say to you. So, and actually that's that's the deal right there. The Luno of Grum, of Graham is going to reinforce. That's that's the only thing that he's going to do. So, there you go. Join up. Merge. Good. Merge here. I think there was some archers to merge. So, I should cause war now with Karas Selarnin. Or just siege it up. And wait until the High Elves leave. That's the deal here. Let's maintain the siege. That way I can also move this guy closer to where I want. Let's block their way in. That's the deal. Uh, let me check my... I didn't check this. So let me check uh, what's going on over here. And Baraturn. Oh, I forgot. Well, only two units there, it seems. That's good. This guy is keeping an eye over here. That's his job. This guy should go over there. This one merge. Everyone, good. I can't recruit anything. I can recruit some stuff, but I want to save up for Bree for this construction here. Do I need anything else here? No. Two units of ballista, and actually there will be a third one, because when I get out with the general. So, gotta keep recruiting those ballistas. Uh, let's move this general here. Come on, to Thilin. Uh, and let's end up the turn. Yeah, that's the deal here. Good. Dale, come on. Let's see if Eridor or actually the High Elves move away. Did they move? They they didn't. Oh, they are next. Okay. Since they are next, I won't matter. So long as they actually disappear from that area. Come on. Oh. Because I the, the deal is, I, it's not that I don't want war with the Elves. I want to to have a surprise attack on them, you know. I want to capture three to four uh, positions, if uh, or the more that I can, with my um, armies, and that's that's the deal, you know. I want to capture Imladris on the first turn, or uh, at least siege it up, you know. They will certainly try to sally out. Let me decline the Shire autonomy. Uh, construction complete. That's good. Uh, oh, I have barely enough money to get. Oh, I don't have. Well, I'm going to wait on that. Unit recruitment. A ballista. Done in Gundabad. That's good. Let's go over to Kamath Rin. Can you build up a, a catapult maker? Yeah, but that's quite expensive there. I need to upgrade that one. Mortar is at war with Dale. Let me see what else can I do. Can I do any ballistas at all? I'm building here, so I should be able to build something there. Uh, Bree can't do that. Can recruit on the seventh turn. This can recruit in one turn. That's good. 
that's good. It's very good there. So I'm going to keep that money. Yeah, basically that's it. Uh, let's move you closer. Good. And now it's time to strike. Good. Assaulted. King Arafor, what do you have? Uh, you have nothing, actually. Let's fight it out on the battlefield. I won't allow... I want them to be reinforcements. I want them to be reinforcements. So that's a good thing right there. There had been fleets of boats on the waters, and some were filled with gold and some with warriors in armor, and there had been wars and deeds which were now only a legend about Dale, the Hobbit. Dale is pretty fun, guys. I advise you to check out my Dale campaign and to play it out as well. It should be even better with the Moss 1.6. Let's wait. I don't want any uh, problems here. Let's wait. I don't want rain. Come on, you're giving me more rain. Okay, start deployment. I guess we are going to fight on the rain. So, one, two, three, four... Five ballistas. I should have no problem with all of these towers and walls and such, but the deal here is to actually kill the men. I wonder if I should have them on this side, just because I would have a a much better angle at the, the middle. That's actually quite a nice question. Should I? Should I just wait up a little bit and position them there so they can actually have that? Yeah, that'll, that'll be nice. That would be nice. You know, I certainly will have that benefit. So why not? Yeah, let's go over there. Let's siege on the other side. Uh, archers, go here. Shift. Take away this. The skirmisher and the ammo. You boys, you're gonna be here. That's it. You gentlemen, you're gonna be on, on this uh, side. And you, orc bodyguards, is gonna have troll bodyguards. <laughs> now that's some bodyguards right there. Let's proceed into this area. Come on, move up, fast forward. It's kind of bad that you can't do like in Rome too, you know, just proceed to the area that you find the best. Um, I certainly don't want to mess with this, uh, these arrow towers. They have quite a lot of stuff, but you're going to see that six or five ballistas, they are more than... Uh, they are way too many to deal damage. That's four, five times, times four, that's twenty ballistas, guys. 20 ballistas. Oh, I just want to see some fire. I'll probably burn down the city, but who cares? Who cares? Let's position you here now. Let's position my archers behind. Come on. It's lagging a little bit. That's because I'm on time 6. Let's position Snogger Stalkers behind them. Uh, goblin Bands. They're going to have some time to wait. That's it. And my trolls are going to be here. Let's check if there are any troubles with these towers. No, it doesn't appear like it. <laughs> A surprise volley on all of these archers should cause a lot of damage, guys. Now, the, the worst problem is that he does have quite a lot of infantry and two units of cavalry. So my ballistas are on for that. Reinforcements have arrived. Yeah, I knew. I know that. I told them there. And they're actually coming in from that side, so that's good. You know, that's quite good. My ballistas are now mostly positioned. Good. And you can start shooting. I'm going to tell each one to shoot at some place. Let me stop the... Uh, the that's a fire. Okay, so you're going to fire there. Oh, certainly not fire ammunition, actually. You are going to fire on this tower. You are going to fire on the gates. You are going to fire on this tower. And you are going to fire on the other tower here. I don't want... You worry about the towers. That's it. Time six. Let's check on the attack. Lots of fire going on. Come on. The gate is, should be done. Some towers should be destroyed in a little bit. Come on. 
Come on. Take that down. Nothing has been destroyed so far. Really? They're actually hitting this tower? I wonder. Well, they seem to. Yeah, they are. Destroy that one. So one of my ballistas is almost ready to hit something else. I don't want it to start hitting some, th something else and losing ammunition without a trouble. Yeah. Another tower, another tower. The gate should be done in a little bit. That tower should be done in a little bit. Come on. Tower done. Come on, gate. That's it. Very nice. So let's move them a little bit closer. That was a lot of shots needed, huh? Let's move you a little bit closer, and you are going to move your archers closer as well. Now, Ballistas, can you shoot? Yes, certainly you can. Let's go for it. Fire at will. Oh, the battle ready to retain. Do Go! Slaughter him! Kill them! Or the Hobbitry in arms, Breland Militia. He hasn't moved these archer militia, actually. So I guess I can move in my archers as well. You gentlemen, you can move in a bit closer. That's it. Run in. Run in. Run in. Come on, ballistas. Okay, so there were 120 here. There's 109. And I'm missing a lot of shots, actually. But that doesn't matter. Each time I hit, it's a lot of them. 1% of them, the enemy is killed. Can you imagine this on a battle without the walls to protect these guys? I certainly can. Let's attack those archer militias, shall we? Kind of prefer them hitting on that direction. My archers shall deal with these guys easily. Come on. Come on, ballistas. You're now in position. Good. Destroy those archer militias. Let's see how many can we destroy on just one volley. Actually, let's see like this. Come on, here they come, all the shots. Ah! Ah! Burn! <laughs> so, how many were destroyed on that volley? About 20 or so, more than that. Yeah, because there, there are two stacks here. <laughs> that is music to my ears. Keep hitting them, guys. Slaughter them! Ah! We see over here the yeah the arrows are doing quite well. My snaga archers are doing quite well. So I wonder if I should stop attacking the archers and start attacking the Dunedain bodyguards. What do you think? Maybe. Maybe that would be good. Certainly that would be good. I already caused a lot of damage. Take them down to half of them. <laughs> My archers are doing more damage. And the battle ready Dunedain, Brillant Militia and Hobbitries, they're gonna have some problems. Let's see it on the, the other angle, guys. One fire them up. Fire them! Fire away! What are you doing? Nah, that's it. Start shooting. And you guys need to close up. Because you're gonna have some troubles if you don't. Run. Let's have this other angle. Come on. That's a lot of ballistas, I gotta say, guys. What's over here? Oh, these guys. Okay. So, Dunedain bodyguards getting slaughtered. Nice. I wish he had a few more men over there, or that he actually moved them. But whatever. That's how you conduct a siege, guys. It's gonna take quite a while, but it's the last siege against Gon uh, against Eriador. So I don't care. I don't care. My archers are not doing as much damage now. Here come the archer fire. 
hitting a lot up there, man. Come on, ballistas. I should take away the flaming ammo so they can fire faster. Let's fire two times speed. Yeah, they can actually hit better this way. Way too much. Actually not liking that at all. Let's use flaming ammo again, but on the archer militia, shall we? Come on. Here they come. Just one volley while they are still clumped up like this. That's it. That's how you do it. <laughs> they regretted their decision. Check the Dunedain bodyguards now. No, and once they are up, up again. Let me check this. Mm, okay, I should be moving them towards the Dunedains here, or the Hobbiton Arms, or even the Brillant Militia. Yeah, but uh, just let me have a few more fire shots at these guys here. Come on, Dunedain bodyguards. Get slain, will you? Oh, 54 in one volley. We'll have 49. That wasn't bad. Whoa, what's happening here? I'm, I'm suffering a few shots. Oh, that's right. I probably suffered some problems with my own ballistas. Come on. Position yourselves. Let's just have the ballistas in auto fire, shall we? I'm almost out of missiles with my Snaga archers. So I can send these guys in. I can send them in. That's it. They are on auto fire. Oh, they, they shouldn't. Target bodyguards, will you? Yeah, let's send these guys in. Legion unleashed. Go! So, no more snug archers here. Let me check their progress. <laughs> now that's an epic siege right there. We will smash the enemy. Let's attack these guys. Because they are surely to be... To start hitting me. What's over here? Let's stop the timer a little bit. Okay, certainly these guys can just get through these guys, these other ones. Can't you get through? Come on, try to get through, will you? You're covered by all of those ballistas. Let me see. And now you should have a few men there. Target the battle ready, Dunedain. These guys are going to try to hit the Dunedain bodyguards there. Ballistas are doing quite a lot of damage. <laughs> Snaga hunters, now you've managed. Where are the Dunedain? Uh, Brillant militias fleeing. Hobbitry arms shaken. Battle ready, Dunedain. 26. That's good. I'm gonna lose a lot of Snaga uh, stalkers, but that's the purpose here. My ballistas are doing their damage. Who is here? Breland militia and bodyguards there, some archer militia. Okay, let's hit these other archer militia. Certainly. Certainly, boys, you can do a lot of damage there. Dunedain bodyguards there. Battle ready Dunedain down to 9. That's going pretty well. How many losses? 2% losses. That's good. They just melt away. Look at the amount of bodies. You could melt off. <laughs> it looks like someone had piled up the bodies for a massacre. <laughs> Look at that. Everything burning, that's how I like it. Epic finale of Eridor, guys. Dunedain bodyguards, <laughs> these guys are here. They, they, they look like... These guys do not, don't want anything to have with the battle, you know? They're just... Okay, let's hope no one watches us. No. There's a battle going on, but shh. Keep your horses down. <laughs> In the meantime... Ah, help us! Yeah, that's what's going on here. Hobbitrine arms are holding on. A few battle-ready Dunedain here as well. Let's take my men 
for a walk, shall we? I want to surround these bodyguards. You spears should engage as well. And now you should strike the bodyguards. This causes them to surround them a little bit more. You can see the deaths happening. Bodyguards 28, but sh they shall go down much faster. Good move by the AI to try and move them away. I certainly don't want any miss clicks or miss hits by my ballistas. They're still at half of their shots, guys. Oh, my timer. Wow, this battle is going on for quite a while. Come on, slay them all. I should maybe stop the ballistas right now because they're really not doing as much now. Yeah, let's stop this. 26. Come on. Spears, get through there. I don't want to send the trolls in. As of yet. Because actually, they wouldn't do anything. They would just clump up over there. You know, let's, come on, go through, go through. Faster a little bit more. And start hitting the Budunidane bodyguards now. Can you slay them? 25, wow. Everything that I said about the stalkers, I take it back. They're losing badly and without killing them. Well, they should start killing a lot of them because they're all in the red, as you can see. They're all wounded with heavy marks of blood. So they should start falling. I can hear... Yeah, certainly. Certainly now that's going to happen. Let's group up these guys. 25. Oh, here come the Dunedain bodyguards. Give them a volley, will you? Let's see how many can we kill. Come on. Come on, ballistas. Fire away. They do not have fire, but they should cause a lot of casualties. Where are the shots? Come on, ballistas. You should be able to destroy them now. The other body... Oh, there we go. They're even with their backs to us. Fire, flaming arrows. Oh, a flaming over there. <laughs> there they come. Good. I wonder if I would just kill their generals. That would be so much easier. I know they're under attack, but they're gonna keep under attack. I've lost like 500 of my men already. But they've lost very... Uh, as much. They lost a lot of bodyguards with that. Yeah. Ballistas, can you shoot the middle? Yeah, shoot that middle, will you? Just a brilliant militia. I don't care if you hit the bodyguards. They're down to half. And as you can see, that takes me quite a while uh, of these troubles. Take that away. Come on, keep fighting them. My ballistas are gonna shoot over there. Well, should I send out my mountain trolls? probably send them now. Just one unit at least. Yeah. That's nice. 67% of their men killed. That's it. They're gonna hit some of their bodyguards by <laughs> by their they, they being so clumped up. Nice. Very nice. Start hitting the bodyguards as well. Trolls. Get through those. Come on. And start hitting their bodyguards. That's it. Get through them. Slay their bodyguards, will you? Actually, they're so weak that they should cause a lot of damage to them. 
Yeah, 18 already. 16. Very good. That's nice. Spears, get through. Get through, Snuggers. If they manage to get through, they will just cause a lot of casualties just by that. 14. Yeah, get through. Come on, push through that. Their Breland militia is going down as well. Oh! We slain the general! That's so much better. All of these guys shall be shaken in a little bit. Come on, hit the Dundane bodyguards now. I'm hitting my own Snagas, so let's move you forward. That's it. How about over here? What's going on? Dunedain bodyguards. I lost a troll. I lost a troll. So I'm gonna double back with them. Come on, I don't want to lose anymore. One troll every battle is enough. And I should be moving on. Oh, these, these are not hitting what they need to hit. Routing over there. This bodyguard should die again. There should be a death nearby. Keep moving through them. You know, I could have done this differently by going on all sides, you know. But I couldn't... Uh, I couldn't believe that they would hang on for quite a while, as you can see. No. These guys are just moving through and slaying all the Dunedain bodyguards. Now they are fighting to the death. That's good. That will cause them to get killed even faster. Nice. Six. There's, these are the other ones. So very nice. Lots of stuff getting killed. Shoot at those. I slain the other enemy general. So that's no more. Get over there. Yeah. Lost only a troll and 20% of my men. That's good. My ballistas are getting out of uh, fire. But they still manage a few pot shots. That's it. Slay all that you can. Okay, that's nice. Some bodyguards are here, but they should die. Epic battle, guys. I'm doing on times two. And my ballistas are still shooting. Just look at the amount of casualties they've caused. Actually, on my own side as well. <laughs> Doesn't matter now. Okay, I'm actually going to stop you now. And... Yeah, let's move you here, you here. Get him through. That's it, a few bodyguards still here. And now I'll be able to get a surround on the brilliant militia, come on. That's it. Fast forward. And that's gonna be it. 50, 48, 45, 40. Way too many orcs. Way too many orcs. 27, 25, 23. There's still some bodyguards here. Four of them. Two of them, it seems. There's still one there. Although I killed 100%, they say. There's still someone there, doing it in bodyguards. I've killed a hundred percent. So they say. One and... Zero. Zero, please kill him before the timer runs out. And they did. Good. That's the end of Eriador. Quite a nice battle. Nine hundred men lost. Well, actually, nine hundred less a hundred here about 150 so 800 men lost let's say good so mostly were of course snaga stalkers which I'll, I'll surely to to replenish if they are in too way too weaker numbers 
But I can start building up a secondary army now. Actually, a fourth army on this area would be nice. So I can recruit that next... Um, start recruiting that as soon as I finish off on Bree. And let's see if there are some uh, hordes here. Occupied settlement. Are there? No. Free peoples of Erder have died. Good. Very good. So, yeah, I should make a few repairs. Oh, I won't miss this money on the next um, turn. And I should merge these guys. Let me see how many stacks did I lost. Actually, three and appears a half. Three stacks of Snaga Stalkers that I lost. <laughs> That's not too bad. I can replenish that on one turn. You know, I could replenish it immediately, actually. You know, if I wanted. You know, just these guys here. Or these guys here, yeah, that, <laughs> that will be it. So, um, um, yeah, that will be it for today. Quite a long episode to take Karas Sarlarnen. Anything that I can sell here? Uh, the brothel? Nah, doesn't seem like it. So, goodbye guys, and thank you all for watching.